Bonjour! In this session, I'm going to show you some activities that you can do to practice giving opinions I like and I don't like. So, I guess most importantly is to get children listening and talking about what they like and they don't like. They should know the question to M, do you like? And you can use visuals like this to help them, or you can draw it on a bottle lid or a smaller piece of paper to make a small flashcard. J'aime, oui, I like, yes, oui, I like, j'aime. And non, no, je n'aime pas, I don't like. So once you've got some visuals, you can then play games with them. So first thing you can do is to perhaps um, stick them up around the house and you could say the expression and the child could try to move to the correct expression. So you would say to M and the child would move to the uh, question mark. So you could just have them stuck up on um, different um, walls and get them moving. You could also just play that with the pieces of paper on a table and just play touch and you would say the expression j'aime, je n'aime pas, and the child would just touch it. Or you could point to it and the child could try and say it to focus on them speaking. Uh, you could also then turn that into a longer uh, game by saying, find me five things that you j'aime like, or five things that you je n'aime pas don't like. Uh, you could also go around the house pointing to things and get the child to say j'aime, je n'aime pas. Um, another game to have is to have the j'aime on one wall, okay, the, the tick, and the je n'aime pas on another wall. And you would say something and the child moves to show how they're feeling about that thing. So you could have a category like food and you could say pasta and they would move, or chocolate, they would move. And you could then get them to repeat the phrase when they move to that area, j'aime or je n'aime pas. It's quite a fun family challenge because you might have various people in the family who have different opinions and everybody could then be practicing saying it. Obviously, they won't know all the words for the different food items, but that doesn't matter. You could choose different categories like numbers or colours um, and the children would probably know those words so they could revise those as full phrases if they wanted. Another thing that you could do is to get a book, picture book. I've just got a simple one here, for instance, and you could point to things. These are, are different pants. You could point to the pants. Oh, here we go. Um, and you could then see what the children think about them. To M, to M, j'aime or je n'aime pas. To M, oui, non. Nice thing to do is to get children to make a collage or a um, drawing of what they like and they don't like. Two pieces of paper, one with j'aime as the title and one with je n'aime pas. Or if you don't want to write the words out, then you can just get the children to um, to draw the things that they like and they dislike, and then they can just talk you through it. Um, for instance, here's a magazine. The children could cut out the pictures, and you could first of all prepare them and say, to M, the child could say, oui, j'aime, or no, je n'aime pas. And then they could cut the pictures out, and they could um, choose where they would stick them. Okay? So there's quite a lot of... Nice pictures in there. Animals is always a good one. But it could be anything that they like or they dislike. Bonne chance. Au revoir.